This YCN segment is brought to you by Harris Family Furniture in Plymouth, Laconia, and Chichester. Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Rob Taylor in studio. In our final segment, we'll get to some regional uh, college sports. First, Dartmouth Big Green football team. They have their final home game, final game of the season coming up this Saturday. But this past Friday night down at Fenway Park, pretty exciting. They played Brown at Fenway Park. Cold night, but exciting to watch. Yeah, a lot, I saw a lot of stuff on Facebook from friends that were at, at the game. Yeah. saw some neat stuff on YouTube and on Dartmouth's website. It looked like really kind of a neat thing. It was. And I think they're going to continue that. I heard just recently that they're scheduled to play Princeton next year at Yankee Stadium. Oh, okay. So the, the, the college football at the baseball parks is kind of a big hit in the same way that they did with NHL on, right. on the uh, baseball Winter field. Winter Classic, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Yankee Stadium <laughs> has been hosting a bowl game the last couple of years, so that'll be set it up perfectly for that game. Uh, and also, coming up this week, if Dartmouth does get their win against Princeton and Harvard beats Yale, Dartmouth will share the Ivy title with uh, Yale, and uh, that's a pretty big accomplishment. And they don't have playoffs, so you got to share it, but it's pretty big. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, and it's been, it seems like a really great year. Um, back to what we were talking about earlier with the Patriots, you can see their philosophy is sort of play their game. Sometimes they get down early, but it seems like if they just kind of stick with what's working mm -hmm. for them, they eventually come roaring back. Had a couple of really great uh, comebacks they've had late some, in games. Yeah, they've had some really exciting games this year. So their final one is on Saturday at 1.30 up in Hanover. And the men's basketball team opened their home slate this season on Tuesday night as they beat Emerson College. They're 1-1. One one. The women's uh, basketball team, they are 2-0. and oh. They beat Boston College for the first time ever. So an exciting start for some Dartmouth sports. Hopefully they can keep it going this season. Locally, on the local scene, some uh, high school football. St. Johnsbury defeats Hartford in the finals by one point. Exciting game right down to the wire in Rutland, Vermont. Windsor comes back to beat Woodstock. Congratulations to Windsor, their con second consecutive championship. And then Hanover, Newport, and Stevens, unfortunately, all go down in the semifinals on the New Hampshire side. So disappointing end, but also a good end for some of the local teams. It's time for the Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. Salt Hill Pub, honest food, perfect pints, live music, now here to serve you in five locations. All right, here we go with our picks of the week. But before we get into our picks, I got to announce the standing so far. So I am 33 and 17, and the guests, when they come in, is 30 and 20. So I got a little bit of a lead. Uh, and when Rob and I go head to head, he is five and five, not bad, 500. <laughs> I'm nine and one. So uh, you got to make I up. Maybe we can make it up this yeah. week. So first, we'll start off with Thursday night football: Steelers, Titans. Uh, you know, we, we don't know what to expect from the Steelers. Sometimes they play down to their competition, but this might be a game where they are able to pull away. Fairly easy pick for me. Yeah. I'm going Steelers on this one. A elite quarterback, elite running back, elite wide receiver. I just think they've got it where it, where it counts. Right, and their defense has much improved this year, and I agree with Rob. I'm going to go with the Steelers. I still haven't bought into the Titans yet. Good record, not convincing. I'm taking the Steelers on Thursday night. Over to the NFC, a battle where a couple teams, maybe surprising teams, Rams and Vikings, should be a great one. Yeah, I'm actually a buyer on the Rams uh, this year. I'm very impressed. Just a little disappointed with the whole uh, NFL uh, LA experiment. Right. I, I don't. I, that's not a good development there. I'm not very impressed. So. But if they keep winning, maybe they'll get some fans. Maybe it will work. I disagree with you. The quarterback situation. It looks like it's Case Keenum's to to lose. Bridgewater is back on the field, maybe starting sometime this season. I'm going to take the Vikings. I think they get the win at home. The big one, down in Mexico City, 4.30 on Sunday, Patriots-Raiders. Who you got? Uh, this is with that game that you, you looked at it at the beginning of the season on the mm -hmm. schedule. This would be one where they could possibly let up. You right. know, there's a lot of uh, time in the air on an airplane and jet lag and all these other things going out of the country. But just the way things are coming together for the Patriots, I'm a buyer on the Patriots. Patriots right. all the way. Yeah, I mean, I think this is one of those games, but you, you had mentioned in that Julian Edelman book where this is the, the long-term focus. They don't get tripped up by these type of games. So let's hope that's the case. I agree with you. I'll take the Patriots as well. Big matchup in the NFC East. Eagles trying to pull away. Cowboys. Trying to stay close. I don't know if they'll be able to catch them. Who you got on Sunday uh, Night Football? If this was a stock pick, I'm buying Eagles and I'm selling Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the way things are developing for the Cowboys this year. Obviously, they're losing uh, for at least the four-game suspension. Right. 
their uh, their run. Elliott, yep. Yeah, so. so that's going to be an interesting development as the season goes along. But the Cowboys really have to make up some ground. I am selling them as well. I take the Eagles in that one. Monday night football, Falcons at Seahawks. Falcons get the big win last week. Seahawks get the big win on Thursday night. Could be a good game. Almost an exact even Steven in terms mm -hmm. of the odds from yep. Vegas. Uh, but due to the fact that it's a home game going right. Seahawks, picking them. Yeah, I agree with you. That home game, that's a big factor in the NFL, and I agree with you. I'll take the Seahawks as well. So there you have our picks, and thanks to Rob from the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce for coming in. Thank you. And uh, want to mention that December 13th, they have their holiday social. It's at the Fireside Inn in Lebanon, West Lebanon. It's 5 to 7. Uh, they name the business of the year and person of the year. Citizen correct? of the year, yes. Citizen of the yeah, year, okay. Yeah. And uh, you can go to the website, LebanonChamber.com. You got it. And get tickets. All right, Thanks so check lot. out the website. Thanks to Rob. Have a great night.